you can go to any other city and you can find kids who might be more privileged, their engineering program might be more established, but they don't have the drive and dedication that Immokalee students have because we need to have that. We don't have the same privilege as other kids have because we, are, we have such a high poverty level. We are taught from young to have drive, to have ambition, to be dedicated, and we absolutely bring that in every aspect of our lives. We both know that each alliance is highly adept and skilled at clearing their side of the field. The question becomes, who's gonna clear their side of the field and leave their opponents with no time on the clock? We're the new rising team. We've established ourselves and we greatly improved from tournament to tournament. And the energy of the kids, the excitement of the kids, it's become the Olympics of STEM education. It started with the district engineering program. We decided to focus on using these VEX robotics kits because VEX does have its own international competition. A lot of thought, design, trial and error goes into it. I've got a solid core team. Half of them are currently Let's my engineering off. students. Let's go right here because it's okay. bigger rubber band and it's a lot more time. I've always liked to build things ever since I was a child. You know, I always loved to mess with Legos and build models. So now that I can build robots and see them work, it's pretty great. I'm an early admission student at Florida Gulf Coast University. I did that my 11th year and now I'm a senior. One day I just came into the classroom and I asked Mr. Rimmer if I could just um, maybe be an apprentice to somebody and I could just pick up on whatever they're, they're doing here, learning about this. I saw how dedicated everyone else was and I couldn't, I couldn't slack behind, so I wanted to be on that level. I wanted to learn as much as I could. Starting the second day of school, the core group has been here probably two to four hours, five days a week working on this robot. Spending a lot of time with the same people every day, it builds a certain bond that you don't share with other people. Whenever like someone's having like a rough day, we all know, but we all just come together and concentrate on like the robot and it makes us feel better. And it's like a safe haven for everyone. Immokalee is a very well-known school in any districts in Florida. A lot of times Immokalee has this bad connotation and um, we're just trying to change it. I think it's especially hard talking to other kids from other schools or other districts and seeing how they almost like think less of us or that we're not as intelligent as them. You compile it, then you debug it. But seeing how this robotics team has made a name for us, and when we go to Miami, we don't have that stigma, so it feels great knowing that they've only had a positive um, outlook on us. Welcome to Miami. This is what this is all about. It's a game, but it's designed to help kids understand how to solve those complex challenges, to think critically. So the more strength points you have, the higher up you're going to be if everybody's high. Oh, I get it. We feel pretty good now that we know that we found a problem. There you go. But we're still questioning if we found the right problem. I've known since I was 10 years old that I want to be a pastry chef. With my desserts or with robotics, learning how to improve from the mistakes, learning that making mistakes is okay, learning all the mechanics behind um, the actual robot, the time spent with everyone, going to competitions and seeing how everything pays off. It's been a great feeling. Venture one minute mark, driver control, one minute. You can't do this for a lot, you need the time. 41 blue, 23 red, blue wins. This is still our first year, so the fact that other more experienced teams are learning from us at this point, it shows just how far these kids have come. Nine, four, three, two, one. Call five for states. Uh, we're on our way. This experience really just moved me somewhere else. It, it, it got me to want to do something in engineering. Yeah, it was a one-timer. We met so many different people from Florida. It's great. It's building a whole bunch of different friendships that we would have never made beforehand. Making it to states was hard enough, and it was it, it was a big thing. So tape one, right? Mm -hmm. The goal is to get a monthly known for robotics and academics. 
This is all really fun for us, but I think it has a bigger meaning for all of us. I didn't think we were going to get this far. <laughs> the effort from them hasn't died down, and we're still going strong. We're going to Louisville, Kentucky um, for the VEX Robotics World Championship. like this with 500 teams. I think the teamwork part is really important because in life you don't work as a, by yourself very often. Our robot, we've had a lot of um, issues with it, but we just had our first win, so that's pretty exciting. You can just see that everyone takes such pride in working together. Everyone knows their part, and everyone can contribute to these robotics programs in a meaningful way. We've got team at 10. 101 Foxtrot, that's a Megazoid out of Florida. These kids have competed in their states. They were the best in their states. Um, they're the best in their city. Just making the world be a success. You don't even have to win. Is being able to experience the whole entire um, world competition, just making it there is a success. Dedication is a big part of robotics. You can always have a good idea, but if you're not if you're not gonna put the dedication into making that idea perfect, then it's not gonna go anywhere. So dedication is a big key. I don't think you really can prepare yourself for something like this. I don't know if it's just because we experienced it the first year, so it was like a whirlwind for us, and we kind of paved the way for everyone else coming. We have a lot of problems, but we also come come up with a lot of solutions to all of our problems. And I think that's really important, not only here in this room, but I think in life in general, um, there's always going to be um, so many problems and you just have to take a step back sometimes and just look at the bigger picture and see what you can do to fix it. The big thing that I can tell them is just to have fun, to remember that this is a game, that this is, this is supposed to be fun, it's like a club, you're here to have fun. I think every decision we've made, every trip we've made, led us to where we are now. And I wouldn't change that for anything. Like Jenny said, having fun is one of the bigger things here because I enjoyed every moment of the robotics club. I had the time of my life this past year working with these kids and starting this program. And I'm looking forward to seeing how robotics will continue to grow both in Immokalee High School and Collier County. We're going to be around for a while. Thank you.